Hello and thank you for watching my videos. On this installation we've installed an Alpine 105 gas fired boiler and it's a high efficiency boiler going on an old gravity system direct replacement and the pumps are primary secondary which is typical for this boiler. This particular application was extremely constrained as far as space goes so we had to make all this work in a tiny space and it was a little bit of a pain in the neck trying to fit this uh, as you can see it's in between a water heater and a wall and there's a chimney right next to us so we had to work both sides of the wall um, so it was a little bit of a pain to do this installation but it came out uh, quite well and uh, I'm very pleased with the installation on the Alpines, they have a concealed combustion um, intake and exhaust. So this is our intake pipe, this 3-inch PVC, and this is our exhaust. So the exhaust on the Alpines, they come through with a, um, a defined piece that has to be CPVC. And then from there on, you can go with conventional PVC from there on. Um, that's because this is the exhaust and it runs at slightly higher temperature. So they felt a little safer, safer installing this CPVC. This is uh, OEM. This is how it comes from the factory. <clears throat> and here's our pumps. This is our boiler pump. And it goes to this uh, header. It's sort of a primary secondary. Not sort of. It is a primary secondary. Here's our system pump. So here's our system pump. <clears throat> That's our boiler pump. I added a strainer here because I want, there was in these old gravity systems. They have a lot of tiny particulate, and I wanted to keep it from going inside the boiler. So I added a strainer to prevent it from going in the boiler. And here's our backflow preventer and our auto uh, auto feeder regulator. <clears throat> and again, this is existing. So basically, beyond this T was existing. And um, as we come up to our supply, we have a spiral vent air eliminator with an expansion tank and a flow check. These boilers are extremely efficient. They're 96% efficient. And they, because of that fact, they produce a lot of moisture. And so um, you have to deal with that moisture. And one way of dealing with it if you don't have a direct drain is to just put it in a tiny ejector and pump it away so that's what this is part of the startup process is to calibrate the combustion efficiency and to make sure that they are within the manufacturers parameters I'm not going to go into what those are those are available online if you really want to know what they are <clears throat> um, so inside here there's a little access panel you take the four screws out and there's a probe that gets removed um, and the hose that gets connected to my analyzer um, goes in place where that probe was temporarily you fire up the boiler both low and high and check the parameters accordingly and uh, and then throw it all back together after you make the adjustments this is our exhaust terminal and as you can see there's a rodent screen way up inside of that T in any concealed combustion appliance, you'd always want to use long sweep 90s, and that's what these are. This is a 3-inch long sweep PVC 90. Never use a short radius 90 on uh, in these concealed combustion units. Again, this is our air eliminator and our flow check. So here's the air eliminator. It eliminates the air in the system. It's a micro bubble resorber. And here's our flow check, which stops heat migration when the pump is not running so through natural convection if the boiler were, were to be hot grab through the gravity the, um, the, the hot water is relatively lighter than the cooler water so it would constantly warm up the radiators if you did not have this device so this prevents heat that we call the heat migration so this prevents heat migration without a pump running and here are, here's an isolation valve and here's our boiler isolation valves. So uh, you have to understand that when you deal with 
these boilers, you're dealing with existing conditions on a replacement boiler. So you're dealing with these field conditions which are not ideal and you have to deal with it. You know, you, I probably bang my head 20 times installing this boiler because it's just, that's just the nature of uh, plumbing on certain jobs. Um, the, there are jobs that are a lot easier to install when you have the headroom and a clear open boiler, but this had to be installed right where it was. So um, the beauty of the Alpine is it has many parameters that are adjustable. It has a warm weather shutdown feature, um, a reset schedule, and these can be um, These boilers can be installed in a, a modulating um, installation where they can be stacked on top of each other um, to handle specific demands. So these are very versatile and um, they have a reset schedule, uh, warm weather shutdown, and uh, a lot of field adjustable parameters.